Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the box model. To do that, I've got a blank HTML document and I've already created a style sheet, but I need to link that style sheet to this document. To do that, I'm going to use the CSS Designer. I'm going to add under Sources here attach existing. So I'm going to navigate to that file when this window opens up. So I'm going to browse to it. I saved it in my CSS folder, Art116, named folder, root folder, my CSS folder, and I called it box model. And I'm going to open it and link to it and say, okay. Okay. When I did that, Dreamweaver gave me this line of code so I can tell that it's linked. Now I'm going to click in design view here and I'm going to add a division or a div. So I'm going to go insert div and I'm going to give it another name. Under the class section here, I'm going to call it red box. Note that you do not need to put the period for a class in this particular insert box. I'm going to say OK. When I do that, I get this line of code, div class equals redbox. That's the name I gave it, and I get some filler text. I'm going to use the CSS Designer to modify this box. Right now, it's just an invisible box that's going from one edge of the file all the way to the other edge. And to make it stand out, I'm actually going to make it red. So I am going to do that in the CSS Designer. I'm going to put my cursor right here because this is the element or the selector that I want to modify. I'm going to come down here and add. Dreamweaver picks up the class. Note that it does have a period. Okay, And Dreamweaver added that for me. I'm going to go to the background properties and I'm going to, under background color, select red, hit my return key. Now the box turns red. Next, I'm going to go into the layout properties here and I'm going to give this box a width. So I'm going to click right here where it says auto and choose pixels and I'm going to make it 400 pixels wide. If I click into my document, I can see that it has been modified. Okay, I'm not going to give it a height because it will automatically get bigger when I add content. For example, I do have some filler text here, and I'm just going to grab some of this filler text, copy it, and I am going to go ahead and go ahead and add that filler text right here. Notice that it will expand based on the content that is in this box. And when you add filler text like I just did, it did not give me the paragraph tag. So I'm going to go ahead and set a paragraph tag on this. So I'm going to select that text. And in my property palette, I'm going to select the text and I'm going to change the format to paragraph to make sure I have a paragraph tag on this. And I do. Now what I'm going to do is to show you the box model, I've actually added my rulers. By the way, the body element has a default margin of 8 pixels. So if I counted this little space, it would be 8, and it would be 8. So it's not at exactly 400. It's a little bit beyond because of the default margin. But you're going to see when I add padding inside of this box, this box is going to expand. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring this down a little bit. I'm going to go to my layout properties and I'm going to go to padding here and I'm going to do 10 pixels all the way around. So I'm going to do 10 right here at the top. If I click in the middle, it will change them all, but I have to put that first one in there. And notice how it's expanded. Okay, now this box is bigger. If I continue to add more, it's going to continue to get bigger, the bigger I make that padding. If I click the edge of the box, I can see kind of the hash that's created here that shows me that padding. Now, the space that this is going to occupy is even going to get bigger. If I add more margin, 
So if I go down, select my CSS rule and go to margin and add margin. Let's say I do 20 pixels all the way around, clicking here. Notice the space it takes up is almost 550 pixels. So padding increases the size that a box or a div occupies and so does margin, but also also does border. So if I click on border and I choose to do all sides, note that you can do top, right, bottom, and left. I'm gonna do all sides. I need to choose a width and I'm going to do it in pixels. And just to make it stand out, I will make the border five pixels. I'm going to give it a style of solid. I'm going to give it a color of hmm, dark green, the return key. And if I move this out of the way and I can see if I click on it, it's now beyond that by the uh, pixel amounts. So it's increased because of the margin, the padding, and also the border. Let me do that again. Let me close these. Now, I want to insert a box after this box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into code view, click after this div. So that's the div. If I click on it, that's the red box. I'm going to click after that div and hit the return key. So my cursor's in the right spot. Then I'm going to insert another div by going insert div. This time I will call this class, I'll call it blue box, box, and say okay. Okay, it goes across the screen. Okay, that's the default behavior. I have a little bit of default padding on the sides. Again, that's the default padding of eight pixels on each side. I want to format this blue box, so I'm going to put my cursor right in the class here. Class equals blue box. I'm going to open up the CSS designer. I'm going to add the selector for it. Dreamweaver picked up the class. I'm going to go to the background properties and make it blue. Hit the return key. It's now blue. I'm going to add a width. This time I'll make it, the other one was 400. I'll make this one 250 pixels. All right. Okay, this one currently doesn't have any padding or any margin that I've added. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add padding. I'll come down here and I will do uh, 15 all the way around. I'm going to click in the circle. Notice that it expanded. It takes up more room. If I click on the edge, I can see the padding. Gives me a kind of a visual of that. If I add margin, it's going to take up more space as well. So I will add a margin of 30. Okay, and I'm going to click here so it does it all the way around. Notice is it now takes up more space based on the margin and the padding. I'm going to add a border, and I'll do a real thick one this time. I'm going to do it all the way around or on all sides. I'm going to pick pixels, and I'll just make it really big. I'll make it 25 pixels. I will do a size or a style of solid. Okay, and I'm going to change the default black to maybe light blue or light kind of blue. Okay. Now, if I click off, I can see that this box now takes up this amount of space, okay? That includes the margin, the green border, and also the padding that I added, okay? So you have to add the amount of margin, padding, and border to get the real size a box would occupy.